こんにちは、斉藤美希です。I'm Miki Saito. So, today I'd like to talk about how my Shinobue journey started. I'm sure everybody has a different Shinobue journey story, but this here's mine. So, I was born and raised in Japan, Yokohama, Japan, and when I was four years old, I started playing Shinobue. No, not really. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> But when I was four years old, I started playing the piano and I started taking piano lessons. And by the time、um, I was 12 years old, I was accepted to a Japanese conservatory, which I had to do like math, you know, Japanese and history and all that, plus lots of music. Uh, training, so I was in school for long, long hours every day, and so I graduated from that school when I was 18 years old as a pianist. And I, I said that I thought that I'm not gonna go to Japanese college because I was kind of sick of Japanese education system, which is a very totally different、um, video, you know. There are so,、uh, wonderful things about Japanese education system too. But at the time, I did not like it. <laughs> so I came to the States to go to college and I still wanted to, to do music, although I was really sick of playing the piano. So I started taking voice lessons and then started. Taking piano lessons again because I was like playing Beethoven or Chopin or something in, at school, and somebody discovered me and why aren't you taking piano lessons? So、uh, I ended up taking voice and piano. And for my master's degree, I took、uh, opera performance major. So I'm actually a trained opera singer. So、um, now, so I was teaching voice and piano. I'm a composer. I'm a pianist,、uh, singer. Then 2020, you know, fast forward, like, fast forward to 2020, and everybody knows, of course, we had pan the pandemic. So when that happened, I was teaching a lot of students, the piano and voice students, and I lost pretty much everyone、um, because. If、the lockdown sta、uh, started, and I knew that, you know, I read that singing is one of the worst t h i n g you can do to spread the virus. So I'm like, well, I'm not teaching anymore, you know? And so some went online, like my college, I, I teach at college, and my college students, they had to go on, on to online classes. We switched to online classes. And so that kept on going. But for my Home lessons, home my studio, home studio, everybody pretty much quit. So all of a sudden I had like a lot of time in, in my hand. And previous to that, I started to get、um, like gig requests for Japanese music because I'm a musician and I'm Japanese. And so I said, okay, sure, I'll do it. But I was like creating. Like koto sound and things like that with the keyboard. So, I'm also a composer, so I was like composing some Japanese sounding things and you know, and or doing like singing、uh, Japanese songs, which I could do because I can speak Japanese and read Japanese. So, I can do like I, I was singing Japanese folk tunes and things like that, but I felt like You know, my background is in Western instruments like piano or opera. So, when that pandemic happened and I lost a lot of students, I said to myself, Well, I got time and I'm not going anywhere because I'm under lockdown. <laughs> so, I am going to purchase Shinobue and Koto. So, that was, I want to say, like June of 2020. 2020. So, and then, you know, we all thought that this pandemic thing is going to, you know, well, this coronavirus thing is going to stay for a couple of weeks and then、eh, it's going to be done. But of course, that wasn't the case. So, that whole winter of、uh, 2020 and then 2021, I stayed home, really didn't go anywhere and practiced Shinobue and Koto 
and did online classes that I was teaching. That's all I did all through my lockdown. So um, my goal was to be able to play, perform Koto and Shinobue in public by summer of 2021. So I gave myself one year to practice Shinobue and Koto get to the point to get to the point that I could perform it and in public so as a musician <laughs> which is uh, really uh, kind of audacious uh, goal but I had some goal you know, I had to have some goals for me to get driven so that was my goal and I thought one year because well you know after one year I'm sure the pandemic would be gone which <laughs> I was I was not right. However, so one year I practiced and I actually did start performing in summer of 2021. Um, so there are like videos that of me <laughs> uh, that play in Shinobue and in Koto in summer of 2021 after just you know one year of playing. And uh, actually, more even more audacious thing was. I, actually played performed shinobue and koto within a few months of getting it online um i did an online performance and it was like really i practically just got those instruments but i just wanted to show them you know because i knew that i was the only one who had those instruments in northeast ohio the reason why I made this video was to let you know that it really doesn't take forever for you to be able to play the songs that you want to play with Shinobue. Maybe not all the songs that you want to play, you can't play. You know, it takes time and practice, but you can play many songs, like many Japanese folk tunes, they're great. And even anime songs, you know, like Princess Mononoke, it's not that difficult. So it doesn't take decades or anything like that, or not even years for you to be able to start really enjoying this beautiful instrument. And another thing I want to say is when, when I started this in 2020, I was 55 years old, maybe 54. So, really, you don't have to be really young to start this instrument. You know, oh, I don't have the lung capacity or my fingers are blah, blah, blah. No, you can do it. You know, you don't have to be 20 years old or 30 years old or anything like that to start this instrument. You can start any time. There are many older um, people who play um, this type of uh, fue or flute in Japan and they enjoy it. So I really would like you to pick up a Shinobue and try it. You know, I think it would be really an enjoyable experience for you. Well, thank you so much for listening to my story and please share your story of how you started playing Shinobue as well. Thank you so much. じゃあね、またね。See you next time!